Well, it's that time of year and we are putting hay out now for them. It takes them about, oh, two weeks to put this bell away. We've got nine adults and six calves out here to put this away. So Big Joe didn't even, he didn't even waste time uh, playing with it and, and bashing it and breaking it up. He, uh, he went straight to eating it. So you can tell that these guys are hungry and trying to get in, uh, get some good food, get some good hay. This is good grass hay right from this property right here. So good prairie hay. But anyways, just putting out some hay and uh, checking the herd. Okay, so you guys remember me talking about, I just cut off that big gate that, that Big Joe crushed last time we worked him and actually got him in the squeeze chute. So I cut that off with the torch and now I've got it right here. So here it is, I moved it out of the pen that I was just working on our handling facility i've just been welding but i've got it right here you can see it's not laying very straight well flip this over and i've got the track uh i've got the neighbor's tractor it's the biggest tractor around we've used this on a lot of stuff luckily we have a really good neighbor larry muck but i've got this round bell in the front of it so we've got a lot of weight on it i'm gonna see if i can uh, flatten this out a little bit it should be interesting We're gonna at least try it and see. Guys, I think it kind of worked. You can see a little bit of bow in it right here in this area, but that's where it took a lot of the damage. But I think it honestly flattened it out quite a bit. Some of the bar is bent right here. I tried to flatten it out, but hey, we may be able to use this thing. That's a lot of metal right there. And that's expensive today. <laughs> metal is expensive. So hey, I think we'll, we'll use it. I'll take it. I mean, I put the money and time into that. I might as well use that sucker. And I think we got a really good spot for it. And yes, Big Joe, you did crush this thing in a couple of seconds. We're gonna use it basically back on you so that uh, you'll go down the alley. And I think we got a perfect spot where we're gonna put it. Uh, so Big Joe can't do his turns and whatnot. So we'll try it. So I'm back. Hey, I told you guys I had some work to do. I got a little bit left. But what I'm working on here is I am digging a hole, a post hole, basically. I'm gonna set the square tubing down. Oh, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna set the square tubing down in here. We're gonna have it run right here next to this. You guys are probably like wondering, where, where am I? Okay, well, here's the tub. Here's the cornerless part. The animals will come right down in here and they'll go through the tub. This is a loadout. So if we want to load them out, they'll go that way. They're going to come right through here and go right down this lane into the holding tanks into our squeeze chute. So 
I'm digging this. I'm gonna set this pipe in the ground right here, run up next to it. We're gonna attach that gate that, that Big Joe destroyed and put right here. One thing I like about that gate is it's solid. So we're gonna attach it and it fits perfectly. It's 12 foot from here to here. So it's a straight run. And I've talked about this several times before, but before this tub was here, Big Joe, this is where he got caught in this big spaced area. So we're gonna take this triangle out and cut it down a lot and basically where they can only go straight now. This area here, was an area that uh, some of the animals would get, would get caught in. But now that we've got this tub, they're gonna come through here and this way, we're gonna have this solid 12 foot gate here and we're gonna hinge it off that post that I'm setting to here. And so we'll attach it here somehow or we can shut it off. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So here's the inside of the tub where those animals come through. But uh, I'm dealing with roots now this is the this is where kevin and i dug up and busted this concrete uh foundation here that was part of the old dairy barn kevin and i really got after it and uh if it wasn't for the this is a uh, i never told you what we finished it with but this is a rock bar uh this is uh done a lot of tough tough work for us and got us through a lot of situations but it has a little pointy angle in there that you can use and uh it's heavy i'm not sure how heavy this is but it will it will get you a workout for sure the rock bar came through for us and broke all this up um actually did all of this so that we could fit the tub right in this situation right here because it is definitely a situation so i've got the uh saws all cutting uh, roots out to try to dig down in here so i can set this post this is honestly kind of the last piece of the puzzle uh, for this new tub situation. And we can get a, to run straight down this alley, lane, whatever you want to call it, and uh, into the holding it tanks, into the squeeze chute. So I'm going to dig this hole out and uh, set this post, let it dry for several days before I hang a gate on it because that gate will be very heavy. So that's what I'm doing. to go right in there. I can't take any credit for this, but Kevin finally got this all welded up. I got it in here with the tractor and uh, I braced it up against this, put some strap on to the post that I set. Kevin welded the hinge to it right here. Put a brace 
so that when they push against it, this gate is heavy, it's solid, and now <clears throat> it's gonna be used to go down our lane. I'm down here in the pasture and I drove by the water and I really wanted to share this with you guys. Totally surprised me, absolutely surprised me. But first of all, let's take a look at how clean this is. And two, there may be a reason why it is so clean. Yes, summer is over. The heat has gone away pretty much, but there's the barley bag covered up by a rock. Yes, I know there's a bottom layer here that uh, of some dirt, which is natural, which is going to happen with the bison and whatnot, but it is very clear, very clean water. And um, what a, something in here I want you guys to look at is right there. Boom. Looky here. The goldfish survived. Two. The goldfish survived. We've got two live and well goldfish in here. Now, when we got them, they weren't orange, but uh, they are now because they've gotten a little bit bigger. So, if you guys don't remember, Marissa and I and Brooks came out here in maybe June or July. We did some water testing on these tanks to see what would work the best. And we put, I don't know, maybe 20 goldfish in here or something like that. And... I, I, you know, I, when I came down here to check it, I found a couple of dead ones in it, just because it got so hot in the summer. But, I mean, I had no idea that these guys survived, and so I'm pumped that they, just, that they made it. So we've got two in there, and when we started off, they were like this big. I mean, a couple inches. Maybe, maybe, maybe two inches at the most. And now they look like they're about as long as my hand. So uh, they've definitely gotten bigger. And uh, that is so cool. I just hope they survived the winter now. So another test. They survived the summer of southern Oklahoma heat. Now we'll see what they can go through in the winter. And uh, our winters are typically not very crazy cold. But like last year, we got the Arctic blast. And so it was kind of wild. We'll see how it goes. So I'm super excited that um, their goldfish have survived. We've got two live goldfish.